what's up guys my name is the build Monger, and I am back with somewhat of a build inspiration tutorial somewhat of a new series this is called chisel builds and um, I've decided to kinda take my modded building content and turn it into a simple series of tutorials on specific builds you may still get good inspiration from these um, but I won't do too many in one episode because I I have other stuff now, other series, you know, but, um, yeah, today we're building this nice little Tudor house with half timbers, complex brickwork, and a thatch roof. You might be able to tell what block this is, but it's not meant to be thatch. This is actually neon glowstone, and I think it works pretty well. Now, without further ado, let's begin! Before we begin... I have a series of rules and regulations I have put together for chiseled builds. The main ones being that you can only use chisel blocks unless there's nothing, no chisel block that really fits. For example, in the cases of wood logs. In that case, you can use either quark or alternatively vanilla blocks. The second is that you can use chisels and bits. However, you are limited to grid snap half sized cubes. So you can make slabs and stairs and a bunch of other decorations, but we can't go too crazy. Negative chisel designs are permitted as long as you don't go overboard with them and you adhere to the same restrictions as before. Now, here are the materials required. First is arrayed bricks, roads, and pillars in granite as well as trodden bricks for blocks of quartz, um, uneven vertical dark oak planks, neon glowstone, smooth spruce planks, and iron fenced glass. Now, for negative chisel designs, we need slabs, stairs, vertical slabs, corner stairs, even though you can't really see that, that, that that's what those are, and, writ and um, these little kind of windowsill type things right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do to make this house is you're going to want to put lay down a granite pillar four high. Next you're going to want to make two aligned brick pillars and um, put some granite roads in between there to essentially make a window frame. You're also going to want to cover the door frame with that exact block. And you are going to want to make the same design on the other side. This is the front of the building, just like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is map out the rest of the build. So you're going to want to go one, two, three. One, two, and one, two, three, one, two. That will make a little bit of an angle. Similarly, you're going to want to make the this back face, but you're going to want to make it a big picture window. As you can see, you got three roadblocks here that signifies a relatively big window. So we are not going to continue with that side. We're not going to start the back just yet. However, we're actually going to start over here. So basically, these walls right here um, are going to have some 2x2 two two windows instead of the 1x2 one ones. Just to kind of switch things up just a little bit. If my calculations are correct, this should line up. So, yeah, I'm going to start by putting down all of the line brick and then double down with the roadblocks. Now, the next and obvious next step is um, basically just to bring it up. So, you're just going to want to bring the pillars up. And I think this sort of works because the Tudors had kind of complex brickwork, at least in their more wealthy buildings. So... I think it works pretty well. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this part and um, I'll see you on the flip side. And 
there we go so we basically have what is the foundation of our build made of this granite brick and I actually think granite contrary to what it looks like in um, the vanilla textures it's actually a really cool block it's kinda like hardened clay or regular bricks um, similar color scheme but a, a lot less cartoonish which I really like so as you can see now I'm putting in the windows which I am doing vertical slabs of to kind of give a little bit of depth of course there are no glass panes and chisel as of yet so you kinda have to improvise here and there I'm going to once again fast forward until we are able to do such the next part or whatever um yeah and we are done with the windows I think they look really nice now this might seem a bit counterproductive but the next step is to actually work on the roof and um for the roof we're actually going to be using a bit of an unorthodox block choice and that is neon glowstone because the neon glowstone actually looks to me at least um, did I mess up? no I don't think I did um, it looks to me at least like thatch which I think is a really interesting use of the block and um, it's different you know which I, I like so this is kind of the jet gen whatever um, gradually sloping curve is what I was trying to say words you know basically just going down like and then you know the further out you go the less far down it goes You're gonna end up with a slope like this and um, let's see you're going to want to replicate it on the other side just like so just like that and then um, the next up would be to fill in the roof but since that was such a tedious job I wanted to kind of do it off camera because you know even a time lapse I don't think would do it justice so the next thing to do um, no not like that um, how the heck alright I got it I kind of put this in the wrong direction I guess but um the next step is obviously chiseling this whole thing I realize now that um, I forgot to ch show that you need outer corners of stairs too um, because it is a angled roof like that so but I'm, I'm not gonna make another negative chisel design for that um, just think it's worth pointing out so just go like that so that is what one side looks like besides obviously the top which we have to do separately because this requires slabs so let me get those out um, and just work on this part like so. Alright. Just like that. And then um we do the other side. Um
And just like that, our thatched roof is done. Now, I didn't do the upside down stairs because we're putting in another decoration right there. And um, obviously, this decoration would is the half timber that makes it a Tudor house in the first place. So, when I want to go up all the way, just like that, and we have our stucco. Now, down here, we're going to want to put in the uneven vertical dark oak planks. We're also going to want to put them in over there, there, and down there. And we're going to grab out the vertical slabs and these little nub pieces. So, go down and basically work on this timber framing with the vertical slabs and um, then we're gonna make the rest of them like those little nubs like that I'm sorry for the background noise not much I can do about that so yeah and then we are going to want to do the same thing over here with these blocks like that and um, now we have an almost entirely finished house which needed to put in the final details the first final detail would obviously be a ceiling and a floor which um, essentially work are made of the same block which are these smooth spruce planks so that's what they're going to be used for um, man's sake is I broke a chiseled block. So, it doesn't exactly matter if you do that. And I don't think the mobs will spawn up here just because you have all the artificial lighting from your quote unquote thatch roof, which um, might be glass fiber or something like that. I don't know. So, yeah. Just, you're going to want to cover whatever you had up there up because it's not the prettiest thing in the world. And now the floor. Just like that. And um, next thing we're going to want is some torches and a spruce door type th like that. Just for the last couple finishing touches. Um, um, I'm going to put the torches kind of like, you know what, I'm going to shift them over one. I'm making a mess. Okay. But basically like that. And just, there's no real rhyme or reason to it as long as um it's not on the floor and stuff like that there are probably a lot better ways to make it look passable but um that's not exactly the point of this episode so and then we had our spruce door and i think it's looking pretty nice it's um yeah how's that for a pilot episode Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any criticisms you have in the comments. I'm going to fix this real quick because I can. Leave any criticisms you have in the comments. And um, if you really enjoyed the video, make sure you click the bell to be notified whenever a video comes out by me. And I shall see you in a little bit. Peace.